up Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we have ourselves a track by an act named The Drum titled Karma and if we switch over to here we have ourselves a track on the screen and we're going to listen through it from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go, Karma. Starting off with this really sort of fancy sounding bass line with an interesting octave shape going on. Great resonance, great resonance to those tales of those string instruments. Nice filtering of the vocals as well to help them stand out. Bit of double track to help them stand out and be present in the mix. And reiterating on that higher line there with the melody on the bass. It just hits you like a train, right? The sound of those double track guitars there, those down tuned instruments with the distortion, with that feisty, clean sort of like melody in the center on the guitar. I mean, it's beautiful. I think this is a very personal sort of thing for the drum, and I'm glad that we're discussing it. Oh. Oh, okay, we're talking about uh, very personal stuff for the drum, if I understand correctly, which I think is a really brave thing to do, you know? Uh, there's no music more authentic than what comes from the heart, um, it doesn't sound like a particularly uh, positive sort of situation they had there. So if I'm understanding correctly, is this track about um, someone who just got used and kind of gaslit into believing they were someone that they weren't. And now the karma is them getting their own back because of what they were, they were, they were doing. I mean, like, it's an interesting take. The story makes sense. It's empty sounding still, though, because of how things are balanced in the mix. Yeah, what you've done is not okay. They're simple rhymes, but they work. They're easy to sort of absorb and follow along to. Slam back into it. Great sub bass resonance in here. That the growls and the extra sort of overdubs here, the double tracking are nice and fierce, you know. Really easy to follow along to. You can understand the pain of frustration that he's going through. The growls, yeah, that, that extra bit of angst and sort of like fury with the situation. Beautiful track. Honestly, I know that's maybe a weird thing to say considering the sort of textures we had in there tonally, but I want to talk about that in the conclusion. Because this is my conclusion to this review of the track by uh, the drum titled Karma. You know, what do I think this track is about? I think again, as I mentioned throughout the review, um, we had a fantastic uh, sort of use of the imagery of someone. Um, well, not fantastic that I, I think it's great that they went through it, because obviously it was, it was a terrible experience they had, but um, I just think this kind of subject material is really important because a lot of the times people will play up sort of romanticism or relationships and everything like that and how they're great and nothing goes wrong. 
but these tracks are just as important because they show how they can go wrong and that you know like people get gaslit and tricked into thinking they're someone they're not and everything like that and this is like a really sort of raw journey an insight into the drum what they went through i have a lot of respect for that you know i'm sorry to hear that they went through that you know by the way um this could be about them or maybe they're writing it about someone else's situation but still it's terrible when um you get like kind of tricked into thinking stuff like that so um yeah, I'm sure a lot of people got to relate to the track. I think it was well told. The, the imagery was vivid there. Um, lyrics are said easy to digest and follow along to. Um, the vocal performance was charismatic and interesting to listen to throughout. There were various sort of vocal dubs as well as the main vocals there. Some sort of rap sections, some spoken parts. And then the singing and the clean parts with some growling as well for the karma line. The karma, you know, that kind of stuff is cool. Lots of variety there to keep the listener entertained, you know. As I've been listening to the drum stuff, we've just continued to sort of develop our kind of like uh, our music and our style of doing things. I'm starting to pick up stylistic consistencies with like the vocals and stuff. We're also just adding little bits more polish as we go along, which is really fantastic. Um, the no choices were good. The different vocal techniques made sense with the lyrics parts that they were discussing there. And uh, yeah, really solid vocal performance there. I think works well within the genre. That kind of Beastie Boys, kind of like new metal kind of vibe from like um, from like the 90s, like early 2000s. It's great there stylistically, you know. Um, this, the track at 3 minutes 20 was long enough to include various sort of like verse bridge chorus sections with like the intro there that we had as well with the, the bass and, and then the guitar parts. And then the drums coming in as well, which I'll talk about in a moment because I didn't really do that in the review. But I'm, I'm, I'm highly happy with it. You know, like we had a lot of variety through the track. We never sort of became sort of bored or nothing became disinteresting. Uh, there was lots of effort put into the composition itself to keep people ent entertained and like engaged in it. The the guitar lines, like whether it was the clean steel strings, with the really sort of somber kind of lucid tone to that riff. There were some major sort of twists there when th there was like the realization of what was going on, I think. Um, that were, that was smart. Uh, the distortion and the sort of filthy tone of the rhythm parts were double tracked in the chorus contrasted well with those to make room for that clean part in the center and I think that was a good use of those different elements of this instrument to get the most bang for, you, for their buck in this composition. I, I think that the bass line with the experimentation down the low end as well as the, like, the finesse of the different sort of scale movements around the scale shape and uh, it was cool too. It, it was great. It, it was awesome. Um, you know, it was nice and heavy, but there was also a little bit of beauty to it as well. The drums, when they came in with the time work at the start, moving in sort of like a ride or sort of China cymbal sort of focus there with the kicks and snares and the chorus, they they didn't overplay. It was like an eighth note sort of like vibe throughout to kind of keep the listener kind of rolling along with it. The, the movement and the rhythm was really important to this. We weren't trying to sort of overplay for the sake of showing how well we could do that. We were trying to create an experience that worked well with the rest of the music, the vocals and the lyrics. I think that we managed to do that well with the percussion. It was supportive and pocketing and well done to them. I also like the occasional sort of bell bits of bell ride development there, that kind of ding ding. I heard that in other tracks that the drums done such as, you know, um, Mr. not Mr. Piggy, but like Anthem of Ukraine and stuff like that. Maybe Mr. Piggy. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we love our filthy kind of sort of grungy kind of aesthetic to our our accompaniments that work alongside the rapping and the sort of like the rougher kind of clean vocals and then the and the vocal parts and the chorus it's a, it's great we've got a nice combination of different elements and sounds here the theme overall sounded like someone who was kind of there was a lot of animosity in it you with those minor chords and the harmony and just the phrygian mode that we had occasionally you could tell this was really a desire for the person to get the karma that they deserved. You know, I'm glad that at the same time it wasn't too sad. Like we managed to learn that we were not in the right place at that time and that we had kind of been gaslit. But at the same time, yeah, the motif communicated the vocals and the lyrics well. So I'm glad there was that synergy there. There's not a no doubt of place in the performance. And the recording, mixing and mastering, the studio production was good. I enjoyed listening to the sound of the vocals. They were nicely filled in EQ, bits of various bits of it sort of split around the stereo field. So that was great there, um, and lots of movement. There was some double tracking occasionally alongside the singles. Um, you know, it was it was nice sort of layering there. The the drums were processed well with a bit of compression on them, nice EQ, but not too overdone. The bass line had a great presence in the mix, nicely filled and EQ'd there. You know, no weird resonances there, wasn't muddy or anything like that. The guitars as well had like a kind of a low mid resonance there, but it worked well to give a sense of like edginess to the chorus. I didn't mind that at all with the distortion there, it was great um and and yeah basically we we just had a nice the leveling was was well done as per most of what i've heard from the drum 
I enjoyed the the the, the dynamic range to it because there was a bit of dynamic range when things came down energy level wise as well and the performance as well as in the, the recording itself. Um, it was nice to wind the stereo field again, no weird resonances in the frequency spectrum, and it was nice and loud without pumping. And effectively, this is my review of Karma with uh, from the drum. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, please go check out their various social medias and like their Spotify page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. I see the hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world, and I'll catch you in the next review. Spot hands out. <laughs>